Hey guys, Too Fanatical for you here. So this week we have Coil Brawler as the podium car. Let me show you the price on this car. Legendary Motorsports. Lowest price. So this is this week's podium car. 715k Coil Brawler. Now, in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna win the car and also I'm gonna share a couple of tips. Right, so the first tip is the most obvious one. You have to set your spawn location to last location or the casino penthouse because that will save you time loading when you're going to be loading back into a lobby. Now the second tip is spin on a fresh lucky wheel and what do I mean by fresh lucky wheel? It's a wheel that looks just like this one. The arrow is pointing at clothing and the podium vehicle is pointing at 11 o'clock. Now you can get a fresh lucky wheel in a public session if nobody is in the casino then it resets itself. But if you want to get a guaranteed fresh lucky wheel you have to join an invite only session from story mode. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, most likely you will not win on your first spin because there are no methods that guarantees you winning on the first spin, but by chance you could win on the first. But in case you don't, you probably want an unlimited spins on the lucky wheel, not just the one spin per day. So how to get that? So basically, if you're on Wi-Fi, you have to force quit the game, or if you are on the LAN cable, being the internet cable, you just unplug the internet cable before the wheel completely stops, and then the game doesn't save your spin, and you can spin unlimited times a day. So that's what I do every week. Now how do I spin? I basically I count to 4, and I spin at 4 seconds. And I count out loud because that kind of helps me with the timing. So that's pretty much all I do to win the podium car. And I have won every single podium car since start of February. Now guys, for those of you who are on consoles, there are two methods how to spin the analog stick. The most popular one is 9 to 6 counterclockwise method where you just move the analog stick down to 9 and then slide it all the way to 6. Actually, my favorite method is going with analog stick straight down to 6, as simple as that. Okay, so that's all for the tips, and now let's go win the car. Right guys, back with spin number 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. I almost unplugged the LAN cable there. <laughs> nice. Right guys, so let's take it for a spin then. And in the meantime, please drop a like and also subscribe if you can. That would really be appreciated because that would really help the channel. I'm trying to get to 1500 subs. Right, office garage number two. Coil Brawler. It sounds like Coil Crawler. So does it crawl up the hills nicely or something? It actually does look like an off-road vehicle, so it possibly crawls good. <laughs> so we're about to check it out, I guess. Right, let me make a couple of screenshots for the thumbnail and see you outside. Right guys, here's the car. Let's check it out. Does it sound good? I like the sound. So let's take it Los Santos. Let's customize the car. It's actually pretty fast. I didn't expect it to be that fast. Right, let's first of all check out. Is it for four-wheel drive. It is not, it's rear-wheel drive. Right, so quickly let's customize this. Better than when she came in, that's for sure. So front bumpers, ooh, nice. Let's put this one. Bull bar with winch and lights, looks cool. What about the rear bumpers? Yeah, let's put with the one with the spare tire. Looks cool. Chassis, yep, obviously, roll cage. Oh, the power, the power. Lights and lights, yes. Not sure about the color yet. So, plate black. Good. 
Mm -hmm. I actually do like the original color, kind of. It's pretty interesting. Hell yeah, roof. I like this look. Race suspension, race transmission, turbo, wheel type off-road, obviously. How would it look with street tires? Oh. <laughs> that looks so weird. A rugged snowflake. Okay, let's what go with shot? this look. All-terrain radial, yeah. Enhancements, yes. Right guys, so there's the car fully upgraded. I went for the same color, stock color, it looks cool. So we have brace suspension. So we have brace suspension, race transmission. And it's faster than I thought it would be. Alright, let's usual spot where I check the insides of the car. Come this look from the inside. Well, pretty basic. There's not much to look at inside. Seriously empty dash. <laughs> Nearly nothing on the dash. At least we have some cold there. <laughs> okay, let's let's try to actually crawl. Crawl this hill here. Okay. Can we go up here? Not a trouble at all. <clears throat> and we saved it. Nice. Yeah, can definitely go up pretty steep hills. I would say not all cars could do that. Let's take the car to those hills. They look proper hills. Let's see what happens there. That looks like a proper terrain for this one. Well, that's how the car looks from the <laughs> bottom. <clears throat> right, can we crawl the impossible? This is pretty much impossible, so I'm pretty sure we can't, but who knows. Wow, we got halfway up. What if we had some speed? Link. Let's try to crawl up here. Yeah, that's pretty much 90 degrees angle there. And this is a situation that you wish you had four wheel drive. So that's one downside having that tire on the back that bumper so I bet it's gonna be walk in the park on this one yep not a struggle at all not bad not bad at all Right guys, so my final thoughts on the car, it's actually faster than I thought it would be and the customization is kind of interesting with all these lights on the roof, the, add the spare tire on the back or on the roof and the front bar as well. 
can lower it down too. That's how the engine looks. But yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised for the price. It costs 715k and it's faster than I thought. It crawls up the hills with no trouble at all. Obviously it's not it's not gonna crawl at 90 degrees and at 90 degrees angle. But look at this. Oops, it jumped up. And look how fast it gains the speed. Yeah, it's definitely a brawler, I would say. It should be called a crawler. Yeah, so good car. Honestly, for the price. Good car. If you like off-roading, I think it's a must-have. Handles pretty good, stable. Crawl quite steep hills. And that's how the car looks underneath. So right, on this note, I'm probably gonna end the video right here. I would really appreciate if you would drop the like, subscribe if you're new, and see you in my next one. Bye!